In this exhibition, we're going to have original works by Matisse, some of which have never been shown in this country, and others of which may never be seen again. In the final years of Matisse's career, when he was working on the chapel at Vence, which is arguably his crowning achievement as an artist, and at the same time that he was working on his colorful cutouts, he was creating a series of portraits of Inuit people. The exhibition tells the little known story of the connection between Henri Matisse and the indigenous people of the Arctic. But they were also influenced by a group of Ubik masks. When he does the portrait drawings, where he starts with a realistic portrait and he and he refines it and redraws it and simplifies the image of the person. There's a, a parallel in that in the mask making tradition of the Yupik people, whereby there's a set vocabulary of symbols and icons that, that have particular meaning within the context of the mask. Just think all these masks were once used together in a ceremony and then disbanded. They were mostly separated when they were first field collected. And by tradition in Yupik culture, they would have been discarded after their performance. So it's kind of an accident of history that they were even preserved in the first place. Two primary objectives have been to reunite Yupik masks, masks that were made originally as pairs, but due to a variety of circumstances, were separated. They've been apart for as much as 100 years. The emotional force in seeing these masks reunited is, is undeniable. We've been able to identify some of the original carvers of the Yupik masks. Uh, many of the masterpieces in museum collections uh, have been anonymous up to this point. And by speaking with members of the families in the villages from where the uh, masks were originally made, um, we've been able to contact some of the family descendants of the carvers of the masks. It is a privilege for us to show our masks. The dialogue that we're creating between cultures. We have Matisse, the great French modernist master of the 20th century, and we have these Yupik artists who are working on the other side of the world, but we're exploring similar themes. So the opportunity to bring this work together with Matisse and to understand what that family connection was uh, was really extraordinary and it, and it adds a layer of depth to this exhibition that I could never have expected. You all, Henri Matisse and the Interarctic Spirit is an historic moment, not just for the Herb Museum, but for the Phoenix community. This is an extraordinary opportunity for people to see works that are in Paris, that are in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, all coming together right here in Phoenix. This will be the only venue for this exhibition and therefore it is the only opportunity to see these rare and beautiful works by Matisse but it's also the first opportunity in a lifetime for people to see these wonderful psychologically complex and beautiful Yupik masks come together as they were meant to be.